period one and the start of another school day at St Joseph's College. Hi, my name is Kieran O'Gorman and I come from Walker. I started here in January, like most other boys, as a boarder and the college has become our home away from home. There are also 27 day boys in our form. In the next 25 minutes, we will show you how we all spend our time here at Joey's. We've been talking about what city in Greece. What city have we been talking about in Greece? Who can remember, Tim? Do you remember what city we've been talking about in Greece? Athens. What have we been saying about Athens? Who can remember? This is casting our minds way, way back to what last Friday, Bill? Who can make frog noises? Let's hear some frog noises. Come on, oh, that's the weakest bunch of frogs. Come on, we're in the swamp. I want to hear frog noises. Give me frog noises. Come on. Very good. That's much better. This is the story of David and Goliath. The Philistine army and the Israelite army were at war. Yes, miss. I live at Nelson Bay, just north from Newcastle. We are doing PE, which, which we do on every Tuesday. We are doing as gymnastics, long jump, and football and soccer. I am injured because we, I 
burnt my wrist on football. I come from Manly. We're here in the computer labs in Mr. Pimentel's science class. We're using the computer labs for to do. Um, oh, we're using the program in Carter to find out the properties of chemistry. Um, this is the sheet that we're doing. We have to fill in hydrogen. We have to name a symbol, the physical properties, the occurrence, and the uses. Just need 
one, one test tube. Can you get a test tube? No. One. Got some bird? I like it. Hi, I'm Josh Bird and this is my partner Tristan Terry and we're here in the science lab class A and we're heating up um, copper sulfate and crystals and we're seeing what happens when we heat them. I'm Ben Bartlett, I live in Hunters Hill and this is my partner Damon. We're conducting an experiment of how to test water. Right now we've got the Bunsen burner on the blue flame, which is one you use to heat things with. And we've put copper sulfate in a test tube. It was blue, but now we've heated it. It is white. And when the test tube cools down, we're gonna put some water in it and observe what color it is when we've put the water in it. My name's Edward Christie and I come from Goldman, New South Wales. I'm in Mr Dunstan's design and techniques lab and I'm making an ironing thing. I'll show you it. First of all, we had to start off by marking out our job. First of all, we had to make the right, right bend, just there. Then we had to bend it up to meet up here again. The last thing we have to do is weld this together. We have to file it down and weld. And then we do the design of our choice on the head. So when we put it on the door, it doesn't rot. Thank you. I'm Cameron Kroger and I'm in Mr Dunstan's D&T class and I'm about to weld my ironing hanger. Chris Kane and I'm from West Road and I'm in Mrs. Miller's art class and we're painting our favourite place and I'm painting my lounge room and these are all the objects in it and they're all mixed around and that's a lounge, that's a table, that's a lamp, that's a TV, that's a bookcase and that's a heater and that's my dog. Hello I'm Stephen Davis from Parks and we're painting with acrylic paints. This is my dog um, with a computer in its mouth. Uh, with a, in the, com the picture of, in the computer is a picture of my rabbit. Here I have a tombstone to explain the, my dad's death. Here's my favourite light. Um, that's meant to be my cat. Over here, that's my kitten. And that's my brother for my favourite person. Thank you. Hello, I'm Ryan Hunt and I'm from Wollongong. And I've done a painting in art now and I did the interior of my toilet. It shows the, the um, vase in the toilet, the toilet roll, my dog, which his name is Adelaide, um, my shower, and it's water in my plants and 
the um, the button is here for the toilet. The water is red because um, of the plants. The stems are meant to be red, but I couldn't find another red. And that's the bottom of the toilet. And I'm about to draw a pa my favourite painting, which is um, by Beethoven. Thank you for listening. <laughs>
is Joshua Schumann and I'm from Bondi. Tonight we are having one of our buddies nights that we have every so often during the term. My buddy is Hammond Brownlee, captain of the 16 A's. Hammond, do you think that the buddy, the year seven buddy system is a good system? Yeah, I do, Josh. Uh, it gives a chance for the year, year 11s to, you know, get to know some of the year sevens. It's really good. Ham Hammond, did you have the buddy system? Or if you didn't, do you think that you would have liked to have one, like when you were in year seven? I wasn't fortunate enough to have a buddy system, but um, I know it would have helped a lot. I hope it's helped you guys as well. Do you know any of like, your friends in year 11 that had buddies that were really homesick? Uh, yeah, a lot of them do actually. You know, it's hard for year 7 to come in and a buddy gives them a lot of support. It's good. Yeah. When you were in year 7, do you think you would have been able to cope with your homesickness a lot better if you had had a buddy? Yes, definitely, Josh. It's, it helps when you don't know anyone and you've got a year 11 a buddy to look after you. My name's Cameron Trelaw and I'm here with my buddy Alex Tessarero from Gosford. Alex, how have you enjoyed the buddy system? It's good. Do you think it's helped you get settled into Year 7 and make more friends and stuff? Yep. That's good. Alex, when you were homesick, what kind of things did I do to help you get, get over that homesickness? Uh, well, you came and visited me and bought me stuff and came to my footy and different stuff like that. Hello, my name is Nathan Sullivan and this is my buddy Carlo Cripps and I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. He's the first one. Carlo, what do you get out of the buddy system? Um, well, you get a friend in year 11 in a higher grade that knows the system. Yep. Um, and how has this buddy system helped you with your first two terms at St Joseph's College? Um, you always have some there, someone there for you if you don't, um, can't find you in trouble. That's good. Do you like Joey's at the moment? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's great, except for the food though. Except for food. What are you getting out of the school at the moment? What aspects of the school life do you like? Uh, the sport, the rugby. Yeah. And what else? Um, the classwork. Classwork. You're enjoying it, eh? And um, that's it from Carlo and Nathan. My name's Richard Casamento, and I'm in Year 11. And this is? Kieran O'Gorman, and I'm in Year 7. Now, I'm Kieran's buddy, and I'm just going to ask him a few questions about how he's finding Year 7 and the buddy program. What do you think about the buddy program? I think it's a good, it's a good idea, and yeah, I think it's good. With homesickness, how did you find it? Um, I was pretty homesick, but if you just get involved with your mates, and if you talk to your buddy about it and things like that, it's really good. And how is your buddy able to help you with things like that? Well, say if you might be feeling lonely or something, and, and like you might want to mix with like your other mates and stuff and you just want to talk to someone a bit older about it, then you can go and ask your buddy and speak to him about it. And did your buddy help you a lot with homesickness? Yeah, he was good, yep. He helped us a fair bit. Yep. Uh, thanks, Karen. Hi, my name's Joshua Bird and I'm from Goulburn. I'm here with Brother Michael, the Year 7 Boarding Coordinator. Brother, how have the boys settled into their dormitory life? Well, Joshua, I think they've settled in pretty well this year, yeah. And have many boys been homesick? Have many boys been homesick? Uh, there's been a few that have been homesick, yeah. Uh, just a few, yep. Mm -hmm. And how have they overcome this homesickness problem? Okay, right. Well, to overcome homesickness, there's probably two main things that they need to do, okay? Mm -hmm. yep. uh, firstly, they need to get involved in all the activities here at the college. Um, they need to really get in as many things as they can. For example, uh, get into debating or get into gifted and talented or tournament of the minds or chess mm -hmm. or get into the drama activities or the music and ensembles or get into the sports, the cricket, tennis, rowing, basketball, whatever it is, okay, mm -hmm. rugby, 
make sure they get involved as many things as they can. Okay. And secondly, uh, I think they really need to mix with as many of their peers as possible because there's so many great blokes here, as you know, from great families. Yeah. If you mix as much as you can, uh, you'll really settle down and, and get over your homesickness pretty quick. Brother, what's the hardest thing to get used to in dormitory life and what's the best? Okay, well, I think the hardest thing to get used to is sort of the, the routine or the regimentation, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, the certain times to get up or certain times to clean your teeth, you know, uh, certain times to go to bed, like we, it's a big numbers here, so we have that sort of regimentation. Mm -hmm. But I think the best thing about it would be that uh, you're with your mates all the time. Mm -hmm. And that's a great thing, you know, like after study, you come up here and you have a good time with your mates. Mm -hmm. I suppose uh, when you're at uh, when you're at primary school and you used to sleep over at your mate's place, you used to get pretty excited. Mm -hmm. Well, here you can do it all the time. You sleep over with them every night. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Nels. Nice. I'm Trevor Moses and I'm from Canberra and I'll be speaking to Father Chris, the, ch the college chapel. chapel. G'day Trevor, how are you mate? Um, well, how often do you conduct these dormitory masses? Uh, well, it depends what year group I'm working with but uh, Father says mass uh, a few times at night every week at the college. Okay, year 12 have it every Wednesday night at the same time but I go around to different dorms throughout the term. But I try and get around to every dorm at least once. Okay. And do you enjoy these masses? Mate, they are my favourite masses, okay, because I'm able to talk as a friend to the, uh, to the students and to the boys here and share a bit about my life and I like to know what's going on around the college and what, what they're experiencing and how they're feeling. And it's good to do that in the context of a Eucharist. So, yeah, I really enjoy it. Give us all our sins, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring each of us one day to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. It says something very special about God to that parable. What do you think that's saying about God? It says a lot about about how we, we, we can relate or could relate to each other. Yes, mate. First name. Luke. Luke, thanks, Luke. That he will eventually sort out the bad people. Yeah, yeah, he will. He'll eventually, yeah, yeah that's for sure. is Tom Graham and I live in Gundagai. We hope you all enjoyed the video and we'd like to thank all the teachers and Year 7 boys for their cooperation. To take us out, here is the Year 7 choir singing Shalom.